You got dirty pants on. Yeah, I've been doing manly stuff. What have you been doing that's Hanging manly? Hanging Christmas lights. Hanging Christmas lights. Yep, time that time of the year. Hey, what's going on, Charlie? Hip? I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasting today, Jean. We have mm -hmm. a new a uh, new whiskey that's out on the market. Yes. Only available in America. It's yes. It's the Johnny Walker High Rise Scotch. That's why I got my old right, all right, all right. That's why I got all up. Yeah, got some Matthew McConaughey, Multicasket shirts. If you want any of our shirts, like our shirts, hey, that's a clever shirt. Go to multicasket.com. Get yourself some shirts. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, if you've had Johnny Walker High Rise, I was going to pour it. You already poured it. I did. Let us know down in the comments if you've had this and what you think about it. Now this is a bit of a unique <coughs> offering for two reasons. One, the mash bill. Well, it's a blend of a couple of the a couple of the whiskeys, a couple of the Scotch whiskeys they use in their black label, and it is a mixture of those two or three and a unique mash bill, which they only tell us that that blend. That whiskey is a 60% rye. So they blend it with the 60% rye with the black label? Yes. So it's a bit of So there's a, black label in here, but then they've added this high rye. There's a, there's whiskeys that are in black label that are also in this, and then there is one whiskey, and that one whiskey is a 60% rye. So it's a bit of a play on words, oh, okay. I think. Um, and there's some things going around on the internet, uh, some questions about ex exactly a high rye. I don't know. Um, and the second thing is this is the last whiskey to be produced by their master distiller. Uh, Emma Watson, Emma Walker, is their brand new master distiller. First time in 200 years of the company that they have their... She's not 200 years old. Well, I don't know her age. The gentleman never asked the lady her age. <laughs> uh, but this is the first time in Johnny Walker's 200 years that they have a female master distiller. Ooh, he, go females. He is, uh, Jim uh, Beckeridge is the, um, say that, Beverage? Beverage? Jim Beverage? This is his oh, last whiskey. I can't um, read your handwriting. Nobody can. It's like a doctor. Yeah. But it's uh, not oh, a doctor. And that brings me a good point. Both of these per people are doctor. Emma and uh, Jim are both do have doctors in their title. Huh. What are you getting on the nose there, Jim Marie? So, um, I was expecting a lot of the rye notes because it says, if you say it's claiming 60% rye, right. I was expecting a tons of. of rye on the nose. Yeah. Um, I get a little bit of spearmint, um, but other than that, I'm not, I'm not really getting too many rye notes. Well, the marketing says our high rye contains a mash bill of rye, barley, and wheat, at least 60% rye. Uh, the whiskey is aged in first fill and first um, uh, first fill and refill American oak casks at bonded warehouses. So one unique note I'm getting now that I didn't actually get that I'm getting the rye today. I'm getting like a buttered clove. Buttered clove? Well, like a, I'm, I'm getting the spearmint, but um, right. that's that's about it that's for me. I get a lot of other uh, buttery, creamy, yes. honey graham cracker type of notes you, yeah it's exactly right. it is a creamy honey type of note uh, i get like a buttered clove is the right now i can't tell that this is a scotch can't tell that uh, <coughs> you know what this smells like to me blowing your coffee away. um the fortune cookie okay like when you you just unwrap that fortune cookie and you break it open to yeah. eat, you know that that uh, I don't kind know, of like a, ginger butter I don't know what for how to even describe a fortune cookie but I'm, I get fortune cookie interesting it's a it's a unique whiskey I mean it's not robust it comes at you in a unique nose when we first un say I'm cork it it's a screw top it's Johnny Walker um, but I got I didn't get a lot of really anything interesting the way uncorked it. Like that, my mom makes this frosting with uh, powdered sugar and milk. That's all it's in it, and she puts it between two graham crackers, and that's what this is reminding me of. When the hell does your mother ever do that? <coughs> all the time. Mother-in-law, if you're watching this, um, hey, I thought I thought I thought we liked each other. What's up? Graham crackers with the frosting in the middle. She has told me several times I am her favorite son-in-law. You're the only son-in-law. She's your favorite. Son-in-law, thank you. But mother-in-law, what's up? 
Come on, I like the delicious treats. I'm gonna go in. Ah, you go in then. Somebody owes somebody a Coke. She getting on the pout there, Dean? Mm hmm. Um. Oh, uh, yeah. So uh, the peppers on here are a little bit stronger than I, what I was expecting because I was like, um, and, and that's normally for the rye, I guess. You get some more peppers with rye. Um, very creamy mouthfeel. Uh, buttery, honey. You know what I didn't do? I didn't tell you an ABV. I apologize. You came all the way over to visit with us, and I didn't tell you the, the one thing you wanted to know. 45% ABV, 90 proof. Mm. Um, it's got, to me, a, a, I don't get any rye on the palate whatsoever, which is very disappointing for a rye guy. So that's what I was saying. That that's the only thing I get for rye is some of the peppers that normally come with rye. You know what the finish is for me? It's like I just ate a Ritz cracker, you know, that buttery part of the, just a Ritz cracker is what I feel like I just ate. This is Pop Rocky, so it tastes, I get my, my, my finish is carbonation. It opens up, honestly, underwhelming. Uh, I don't get any notes I can articulate to you, when, which you need to have on a whiskey review show. I get, uh, I guess, some buttercream that you're talking about. I get, a, I get some frosty notes, but not sugary frosting. Um, man, so a little bit of oak. If you're to call yourself a high rye, at least have the rye in there. For me, it's a really creamy, um, buttery mouth filled with peppers. Hmm. I got more rye on that corking, un uncapping, if you will, um, than today. Which I, I got the, the, the creamy, buttery clove on the uh, nose and I was excited. Water do anything for you? Sort of tamed my nose a little bit. Um, See, I'm still getting that, that spearmint rye note on the nose. So I, can, I know there's rye in here. Another odd thing is this bottle gets very cloudy. I don't, I'm not certain why. Normally you don't get cloudy bottles. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I like it better with water. A little bit creamier. Yes. This. Um, okay. Now I like it. So my rich cracker now has like a, a ball of you know those those cheese balls, the yep. soft cheese. Yeah. You, you put it on a rich cracker, and that's my finish now. You got cheese out of this? Yeah, I got some kind of a white cheese, not ah. like a cheddar cheese, but like a soft white cheese. The this mid palate. Nut. Oh, with the nuts around the, on the outside of mm. the cheese ball. That's what I got. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're drinking different things then because I got um, my mid palate. My finish now is is the white, uh, the cream of the Norio cookie. I'll give you that. I mean, yeah, it's got that. Th I think that's my frosting for the graham cracker that I was talking about. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, shout out today, Gene. Before we do our score, you want to do a shout out now or later? Yeah, shout it out. Shout out to Lito Cortez. Lito Cortez came on our, we're doing a series about independent bottlers. Leo? Lito Cortez? Leo, I thought you said Leo. Nope. Is it Lito? Lito, L-I-T-O, I believe is how he spells his oh, name. Okay. Hopefully I'm not murdering his name, I apologize. Uh, but he, we're doing a series on uh, independent bottlers and he went on our, uh, Westport, which Westport is a Glamorang, it's Glamorangy, but when they do independent bodies, they call themselves Westport. And he went on that episode and said, we, Jane, you, you, me, fast becoming one of his favorite whiskey review shows. What? These old things? Yeah, yeah. So, shout out to Mr. Cortez. Appreciate that. That's a nice compliment. Thank you. It is you. a very nice compliment. Oh, scores. What'd you do for a score, Gene? I did an 85. I did an 83. 83? 83. This is, um... Not, if you like rye whiskey, this is not rye whiskey. Well, I gotta tell you, we were really excited when so we saw this. So excited, um, so excited. And I had ordered a couple bottles and then we found it in our lo local liquor store and picked up a bottle. So we actually have three bottles of this, expecting it to just wow us. Yes. And it was a little bit underwhelming. Um, a lot underwhelming. Yeah. So this does not meet expectations. What'd you pay for it? Thirty-five dollars. Yeah. Around thirty-five dollars. Um, it's a drinkable whiskey. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but if you're going into it expecting rye notes, yes. expecting rye, then you'll be disappointed. But as far as a uh, whiskey and drinkable and, and a scotch, 
it's good. As far as Johnny, if you like Johnny Walker Black, you will really like this. So thirty-five dollars is it worth it? See, here's my middle block. It says rye. It says high rye. I went into this rye guy. I yeah, love rye. Yeah, they're all rye out. So I went into this judging this as a rye because it's advertising itself as a high rye. Right. Um, big bold letters right there. Uh, is it worth thirty-five dollars? No. Nope, it is not worth thirty-five dollars. I'm gonna disagree with you. I think it is worth thirty-five dollars because it's very drinkable, it's smooth. Yeah. Um, I think it's. I mean, if if they didn't say high rye on it, would you say it, it it's worth thirty-five dollars? You'd have to give it to me blind to give me an accurate. I don't know. Right now, I'm you're biased. Just, you're just too disappointed because yes. what you were expecting and what you got. I'll tell you, the more I drink, the more I like it. As right. far as the flavor, uh, as far as it being a whiskey, um, yeah, maybe give this to me blind one day. Say here. Try okay. it, what do you think? Uh, anything to add, Gene? No, I have nothing else to add. Uh -huh. I'm Charlie. And I'm Gene. I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. That was a good one. That was a good one. Just like your husband. The peppers are stronger than I thought they would be. Doggy break. <laughs>